sewage backups are a huge issue in, in causing these infections. Flooding and contaminated water seeping into Cahokia Heights. Tonight we are digging into Washington University's new research on a problem residents say they have battled now for decades. Tonight, a possible solution on the horizon. The Environmental Protection Agency now appointing someone to oversee the city's sewage issues. Our Dion Broxton is digging into what this means for the ongoing water woes. It flooded so bad you gotta have a canoe to get in the house. It's a problem First Alert 4 has reported on for years. Flooding is bad in Cahokia Heights. They don't even want to come out and clean the ditches out. Charles Tiller says the problem has persisted in his neighborhood since the 90s. More flooding is happening within this region every year. Now the United States Environmental Protection Agency is taking another step. In April, freshman Congresswoman Nikki Bozinski requested her constituents in Cahokia Heights get some relief. So I would love to have your commitment today uh, to tapping someone on your team to help drive this process in the community and help us to get these needed funds to where they need to be. You have my commitment to do that. Relief is coming in the form of coordinator Beth Murphy, who will help the city obtain federal funding for sewer fixes. The city has been under an EPA order since 2021, but since then, flooding continues. A scientific study showed elevated levels of bacteria in residents, and some residents filed a lawsuit. A lawsuit against the city of Cahokia Heights, the Water District, and the Sanitation District points out a lot of places that flood in the city. This place here at 82nd and Bluff is one of them. Since 2019, residents, as a part of a recent court filing site, 91 documented instances of raw sewage mm. coming out of government-owned pipes and into their home. Despite the continued issues, EPA officials say the drinking water is safe. The city has received millions the last few years to fix sewers and storm drains, but officials always say more money is needed. That water come off of that hill and just flood all this out. With the addition of a federal coordinator, the hope is that this person will help the city secure more money, speeding up the process slated to last almost two decades. In Cahokia Heights, Dion Broxton, First Alert 4.